to DBL. He auditioned for American Idol with the song by Queen. Now he's the legendary band's front man. Adam Lambert joined us earlier and even shared a special Halloween treat with Sam. Take a look. First, I have to ask you, you performed at the Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, and you recently dedicated yeah. a song to her during London Fashion Week. I was wondering, did you get a chance to meet uh, Lily Bet, <laughs> the Queen, or any of the other royals? <laughs> I, you know, I did not get a chance to meet her. She was not there. Um, you know, I think it was past her bedtime. But unfortunately, I didn't get to meet any of the royals. But I, I did see them over in the in the, in the stand. <laughs> and I kind of yeah. kind of gave a yes. little. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's get to you. You auditioned for American Idol, like Sam said, with Queen's Bohemian oh, Rhapsody. Wow. Now you sing for the band. Mama, life has just begun, but now I've got and thrown it all away. Okay. okay. I, it's so serendipitous. If you could ask Freddie Mercury one question today, what would it be? I don't know where I would start. I think I just want to have a drink with him yeah. and just, like, pick his brain, you know? Just, like... Ask him about why did you write that song? You know, what was this about? I would just want to get to know him. I think it would be great. Oh, you and me both. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, you're a judge on British singing competition show called Starstruck. So how is it different yeah. from American Idol? Well, it, this is a show, it's very lightweight. I mean, this is a show where people come on and they get transformed into their favorite artist and they perform as that artist. So it's really just sort of like wish fulfillment. These people are like big super fans. They have learned how to sing like them, how to move like them, and they get this great makeover, um, and it's just a lot of fun. Ooh, the makeover part. I like, yeah. I like that. Okay, so you I gotta, like that part. I know. You got to tell us about your new tour, The Witch Hunt. Why did you name it that? I know you're a big Halloween fan. Like, my, oh, my God, look at that cover. Wow. I, you know, I was watching before I, I, I beamed in here, and your haunted house is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh that is unbelievable. I'm really impressed. You know, oh. yeah. I'm, I'm, then we're the same because Halloween is literally just like my favorite. I, I think it comes from. It's like it's like being a kid again. You know, it's like I remember being a kid and dressing up. And for me, Halloween was the first time I, you know, got to use my imagination in that way and put a costume together and. That sort of led to me being in theater and me doing what I'm doing now. So it, I think it it's all comes back to Halloween. Yes, I gl I'm, glad you, I'm glad you explained it because I would have never guessed that. <laughs> yeah. you know? I feel like you're more of a Adam What are you going to be for Halloween? Have you have you decided on a costume yet? Not yet. I mean, you know, I'm doing I'm doing a show the night before. In, at the Palladium, as you guys are probably, you know, seeing written on your little papers there um, <laughs> or on the screen. Um, and, and I'll be, you know, in some serious looks during the show. Nice. So, um, you know, maybe I'll venture out after that and just stay in one of the looks. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe he'll be okay. Adam okay. Lambert and Okay. Arnie. I like the glam. I like the glam. Uh, nice. We're going to get to the glam, but I just have to tell you, uh, Adam Lambert, you have given Sam one of the biggest gifts by complimenting her haunted house, yes. okay? <laughs> she is the queen of Halloween. Yes. She I is going it. to definitely clip this. Oh, it's, it's probably up there with winning an Emmy. Yes. Thank you so much yeah. for, for gracing her. She can't even get the color no. back in her face, it's okay? She is so excited. It's going on the Halloween digital invite. Uh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. I and that party it. better I be good, because it. it's been in my calendar. Okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about the glam, Adam. Because out of all of the male artists to rock glam before you, like David Bowie, Prince and Boy George, I know this isn't fair, but I'm gonna hold your feet to the fire. Who, in your opinion, rocked it best? Tell us. Ooh, I mean, uh, Bowie's, Bowie kind of like broke the mold, you know? Mm -hmm. but, but, but you can't really compare those three guys. They were all very different. I mean, Prince was Prince, you know, I mean, <laughs> Prince. Um, but I, I do think, I, I know George pretty well, and George was really inspired by Bowie. So I think there's probably some shared DNA there, but. I, I do think it's funny because 10 years ago when I came on the scene and I was, you know, playing with glitter and stuff, it was like, it became this thing where like, ooh, guy liner, it's kind of weird, we don't understand it. And I always thought to myself, if you rewind about 10 years, 20 years ago to the 70s, the 80s, everyone had makeup on. Right. So it was always funny to me that it was such a foreign concept to people. And now, 
funny enough, you go on TikTok or Instagram and like everyone's wearing makeup. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Adam. DVL Nation, visit adamlambert.net for the witch hunt tour dates. And you can buy tickets at ticketmaster.com. We'll be right back. Bye, Adam. Bye, Adam. Bye.